our our mission statement I thought was really cool as well because it's kind of based on Kingston, which kind of well, again, say, say the vision first. You say the vision. You okay. wrote it out. Okay. The vision is um, generational legacy impacting nations to bring heaven to earth. Yeah, and heaven to earth is the big one for us mm -hmm. is that we want our household to be this sanctuary of a reflection of heaven. And we believe that that's like the standard that we want to live by. So even right now, like I am struggling with this like cough and I just went through this bad thing, but that's an experience, but that's not what we want our legacy to be. Our legacy is that we are demanding that our household would live like heaven. When people would walk in, they would be healed. They would be set free. They would have a different mindset. They would feel peace. Things like this, even this cough wouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. And so that's our standard. And we're not going to allow our experiences to define our standards. We're going to raise our experiences to our standard and our belief system. Mm -hmm. I think that that's so important. Well, with also communicating that, hey, like I'm having this experience still. So don't hate yourself if you're having an experience. Yet, we're not going to just change what we believe based on an experience. Yeah. And so I think that that heaven to earth piece is like such a key thing is that I, if we're called to bring heaven to earth and, yeah. and pray on earth as it is in heaven. Exactly. How do we train people to believe and understand even what that means? Yeah. Because right? a lot of people don't even know what heaven means. No. And, and it's the, like the impossible. Like with God, all things are possible. And when you believe like, okay, is this in heaven? No. Okay. Well then why is it manifesting here right now? Um, and so like we are called as sons and daughters of God who have we are seated in heavenly places. How can we bring that here into the physical realm? And we've yep. seen, you know, a lot of physical healings in our life. Um, I mean, thousands and just so many miraculous things. And the power of prayer is so like, the power of prayer is so powerful. Yeah. And so many people are like, oh, I'll pray for you. It's like, no, I'm going up and I'm praying to God and I'm commanding these certain things that are happening on earth to be gone yep. and it's incredible to see what happens when you do that well and that's what's cool about knowing the will of god yeah. if it's a promise like hey this is what i died for then that is the will of god yep so you don't have to ask for the will of god you command the will of god mm -hmm. which is cool because you can be more confident you're not like god give me a sign if i should buy this car or this car when you're praying the will of god it's like you're commanding the will of God on the earth because you're called to pray on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So I think that's so cool to have that confidence. And part of that is knowing biblically what are the thousands of promises that God's promised. Yeah. Because if you don't know what God's even promised you, then you don't even have an expectation. You have no clue mm -hmm. how to even believe for it, have a standard for it, fight for it. And I believe that that's so important. And then mission mm -hmm. statement, which one cool thing that they talked about with this is that the vision statement is something that can be carried out for a thousand generations yeah and be a big enough vision that it's like only god can do it right so yes. influencing the nations with this like different countries that's a big deal like you would have mm -hmm. to have influence and be able to talk to every major world leader and have them communicate it to their people mm -hmm. whereas our actual mission statement was the day-to-day -day kind of thing that yep. we're carrying out and go ahead and tell them that one uh be bold as a lion yeah and, and it comes from that the righteous the are as bold as a lion yeah yes and that came from Kingston too, which was a cool thing for us because maybe some of the other people out there that have kids, you had kind of these themes for their their scripture over their life or their name or something like that. And for Kingston, we had the, the righteous is, are as bold as a lion. And so it kind of showed me that, man, this was God because this is still on our heart. So it was like, okay, with all of these things, now go out there and be bold in everything that you do. Be bold inside of your faith and what you believe and what you stand for and standing on these core values all of these things go out there and just like do it with absolute boldness. Mm -hmm. And I believe that really represents our family a ton too. It definitely represents our family and we need to goal like Kingston though. too. Yeah. So like we're like, we but, are going to have a king. But it is also the goal because you look at David, David Green. Yes. Uh, and with him, they went through a thing with Hobby Lobby where they had all these medications, I guess. And this was like probably everyone else will know this, this better than me. This was birth control, day after pill. Yeah, that they had to provide for people yes. in their pharmacy that's on the actual campus. And they said, no, we're not, this is against our beliefs. We don't believe in this stuff, so we're not going to carry it. And they got, they got charged $1.3 million a day until they would carry it. So the, every day that they didn't. So they went to all their family, but, but their, because their family knew their core values, they all unanimously with 50 people basically said, no, let's not do this. 
let's literally lose the company and everything that we've put into this to stand on this one thing. Yes. And I think that that's so cool because when you don't know what you say yes to, it's tough to say no to things. And I've caught myself do that. It's like, be bold. Be as bold as a lion. Be bold in what though? And I saw them on something so maybe minor where they could have been like, hey guys, we're going to carry it, but just keep it in the back. Yeah. $1.3 million a day is a lot. Like even if it's just a million, that's $365 million in a year. That's a lot. And to think that they would walk through that and get denied so many times and just be like, we'll lose the company on that made me want to, it was inspiring to me.